Hi reception, topic time. Now we're going to carry on our learning about animals in topic today. Well, this week, last week we went on safari and you made binoculars and you saw what animals you could see. This week, we're going to have a little think about a jungle. We're going to go on a journey into the jungle today. We're going to start by reading a book called Rumble in the Jungle by Giles Andre. And it says on the back, on the blurb, there's a rumble in the jungle. There's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. Shall we see which animals we can see in the jungle? Ooh. What print is that? What pattern is that? Zebra. Good job. Zebra print. Okay, are you ready? There's a rumble in the jungle. There's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippo's at the waterhole. The leopard's in his lair. The chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. Who can you see in the jungle? I can see some insects down here. Who else can we see? Who's... Poor might that be? What pattern is it? It's a tiger, good job. And I can see a little tail. Whose tail might that be? Mm, could be a lion, shall we see? And I can see someone's bottom. Whose bottom is that? Who's stripy? A zebra, good job. Oh, what's this? It's a grey trunk that belongs to an elephant. Oh, I can see some sharp teeth. I can see a long neck. I can see a cheeky little monkey. Shall we see who we can see in the book? Chimpanzees. It's great to be a chimpanzee swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's fleas. Oh, what can you see with the chimpanzees? They've got long arms. They've got long legs and they've got five fingers and five toes like us. This one's eating his, part of his baby's fleas. Where do the chimpanzees live in the jungle? Where are they going? They're swinging from tree to tree. So our chimpanzees live in the trees in the jungle. Good job. The lion's the king of the jungle. Just listen how loudly he roars. Every animal quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. Oh, here's our lion. He's got a big furry, do you know what that's called? A big furry mane, good. He's got four paws. So he's got, he walks on all fours, doesn't he? So we walk on two legs, he walks on four legs. He's got sharp teeth, sharp teeth and a long tail. And he is the king of the jungle. Everybody's a bit scared of him. Okay. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle, just Elephing around. Okay, what can you tell me about the elephant? What can you tell me about the elephant? What's different about the elephant? Does he walk on two feet or does he work, walk on four? He walks on his four feet as well, doesn't he? He has a big, long trunk and big, flappy ears. He has four legs and he has ivory tusks that come out. Excellent. Elephants stomp around. Maybe you could make a noise like an elephant. Are they going to tiptoe or are they going to stomp? Mm, I think they would stomp as well. Zebra. I could have been grey like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes which my lady friend likes as they make me look handsome and cool. So here's our zebra. What can you tell me about the zebra? What colour is the zebra's pattern? Black and white striped, yeah, black and white striped. And they've got a bit of a mane, a bit like a horse, and they've got a tail, and again, they walk on four legs, don't they? They walk on four legs. Let's see who we're gonna meet next. <gasps> Snake. 
The boa constrictor is a slippery snake who slithers and slides around his tree. And when tasty animals wander too close, he squashes them slowly for tea. Oh my goodness, look at that snake. You can see the animal because they eat them whole. So you can see the animal in here. So the snake, like the chimpanzee, lives on a tree. They're long and thin. Do they have any leg snakes? No, they slither around, don't they? Slivery like a snake. Okay. Giraffe. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheek's getting kissed by a cloud. So giraffes have a really long neck. And they have a pattern on them, don't they? They have, they're like splodges, aren't they? Or spots, that's their pattern. And they have a really, really long neck. Do they walk on two legs or four giraffes? Four, yeah, they walk on four legs as well. The hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun to get hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. Here's the hippo. Now, hippos are very big and they have a really big mouth. How big can you make your mouth go reception? They have a really big mouth and lots of teeth and they like to lay in the sun and then cool down in the water and the mud because there's lots of water in jungles. It's very, very hot in jungles and there's lots of water. Crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight then I can't risk chomping a few. There he is, our crocodile. Now he's got scaly skin. He's got scaly skin and very sharp teeth. Can you make your teeth go very sharp and go pretend to be a crocodile? Excellent. And he skulks around the water, waiting to eat his prey. Cheeky crocodile. The rhinoceros. The ravenous rhino is big, strong and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch and that makes him terribly happy. Here's our rhino. Here's our rhino. And he's got a big horn on his nose, hasn't he? A little bit like the elephant, but the elephant's got two. Again, he walks on his one, two, three, four legs and he's very big and grey. Very big and grey. And his skin's all wrinkly. One of you said to me the other day that when you go into the bath for too long, you get wrinkly skin on your fingers. That's what the rhino's like all the time. Yeah. The gazelle. No one can run half as quickly as me, the galloping gorgeous gazelle. I can leap up so high that my horns touch the sky and I'm awfully pretty as well. So here's our gazelle. The gazelle is a very, very fast animal and they leap. Look, she's leaping over the hill and she has her two horns as well she walks on four legs she's got a tail and she's a lot thinner than the other animals because she's got to run so fast so she's not big like an elephant gorilla the gorilla is big black and hairy and the thing that he likes to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop his great giant chest here he is he again has got five toes and five fingers he wallops his chest. He's a lot bigger than a monkey, but he's in the monkey family. So he's part of the monkey family, but he's a lot bigger and a lot scarier. A leopard. If you meet a hungry leopard prowling through the night, make sure you call him sir and be incredibly polite. So here's our leopard. He's got one, two, three, four legs. He's got sharp, sharp teeth. Show me those sharp teeth again. He's got sharp teeth and he's got a pattern. He's got a spotty pattern on him, hasn't he? So the giraffe has got a spotty pattern. The zebra has a stripy pattern. The leopard has a spotty pattern too. Tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near, but his eyes shine like lights through the blackest of nights and his growl makes you tremble with fear. Uh, look, he's growling. He is stripy like the zebra, but he is orange and black stripes. And he has sharp teeth like the lion. Sharp, sharp teeth. Don't want to get on the wrong side of the tiger in the jungle. 
The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle slowly while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den. So let's leave them till tomorrow when we'll visit them again. So looking at the jungle here, we've got lots of green, green grass. We've got lots of tall trees with thick green leaves. And in a jungle, the whole of, because there's so many trees and they're so high, it's like there's a roof of leaves. It's like there's a roof of leaves. What else do we have in a jungle? So we know that there are lots and lots of trees. We know that some of the animals live in trees. But we also know from looking at our hippo and our crocodile that there is a lot of water. There's a lot of water too. It's very, very hot in the jungle, but it rains a lot too. Have you ever been on holiday to a hot country where all of a sudden it starts raining and it's not like the rain here because you don't get cold. It's really refreshing. It cools you down and makes you feel a lot more awake. That's what it's like in a jungle. Very hot, but lots of rain too. So we're going to have a little think about what we would take if we went on a jungle holiday. If we went on a trip to a jungle. We know what animals we would see now. We know that it's very hot. We know that there's lots of grass. We know that there's like a ceiling of leaves. And we know that there's lots of water because of all the rain. So shall we see what maybe we might need to take on our trip to the jungle? And you can tell me why you think what I've chosen is a good idea. So I've got my rucksack. Here's my rucksack full of all my jungle treats, full of everything I'm going to take to the jungle. Shall we see what I've got first? Mm. First up, I have a waterproof jacket. A waterproof jacket, because we know it rains a lot. Do you think that's a good idea to have a waterproof jacket or not? Now, it is very hot, but it does get cool at night. So maybe my jacket would be good at night time to keep me dry and to keep me nice and warm when the temperature drops. So I've got a waterproof jacket. It's not a thick one because it is hot, but I thought if it's going to rain, I'm going to need a waterproof jacket. What else do I have? <gasps> What's this? Now, have you ever got so, so hot and you're so thirsty? So you need a water bottle to keep you really hydrated so you don't get poorly. You need to make sure it's full of water. So I would take a water bottle into the jungle with me as well. Now, if it's sunny, we're going to need sun cream so we don't burn our skin. We would need sun cream. Good idea. Thought I thought so. That's why I packed it. Oh, now we saw insects at the beginning. So I thought maybe it might be a good idea to pack some insect repellent to stop me getting bitten. Because if I'm going to the jungle and there's lots of insects, I might need to put this on my skin to stop me from getting bitten. Because I don't want to get bitten, do I? What do you think? Good idea? Okay, I'll put it with the rest of my stuff then if it's a good idea. Sunglasses. If it's sunny, I want to be able to see everything. So I'm going to take some sunglasses with me. Sunglasses because it is sunny. Would you take sunglasses if you were going to the jungle? Maybe you could. Let's see what else we've got. All those animals that I could spy, I'm going to take some binoculars. So I can look up in the trees and see the chimpanzees and maybe out to the water to see the crocodiles, I'm going to take my binoculars. Would you take binoculars if you were going to the jungle? Okay, and also because there are so many animals there, I would take a camera. So I could take pictures of all the animals that I'm going to see on my visit to the jungle. I would take a camera. Would you? Or would you remember all the animals? Might be nice to take some pictures of them, mightn't it? Now, I'm going to take my 
flip-flops. I'm going to take my flip-flops with me because it's very, very hot. But also, because we're going to be doing a lot of walking in the jungle, I'm going to take my trainers or my walking shoes with me because we'll be doing a lot of walking. We'll be doing a lot of walking, so I'll take my trainers as well as my flip-flops. Flip-flops for relaxing, trainers for walking. I thought I might need something to keep the sun off my head, so I've gone for a cap. You could take a sun hat if you've got a sun hat. Up to you, but it's very, very hot in the jungle, so we need to take something to protect our head. What else do I have in here? Oh, in case I want to go swimming with the crocodile, I've got a swimming costume. I don't know if I will go swimming with the crocodile, but just in case I find somewhere safe to swim where there's no crocodiles and no hippos, no water snakes, I might take my swimming costume with me. Now, because it's very hot, I've got a little top and a pair of shorts because it's so hot. So I've gone for those. But because it sometimes rains, I've got a little jumper as well, just in case it rains and I need to put something on. It's all really good in the jungle to wear layers, lots of little layers, because it's very, very hot. But at night it gets cold and it rains quite a lot. Now the last thing in my bag, because when night time falls, I don't want those animals getting me, is a torch. So I can shine it and I can see what's going on around my camp. So what I would like you to do today is play a game called In My Backpack for the Jungle I Have Got. And I would say, in my, jungle, in my backpack for the jungle, I have got a torch. And then you could say, in my backpack for the jungle, I have a torch and some binoculars. And then the next person would say, in my backpack for the jungle, I have a torch, some binoculars and some sunscreen okay and it's a repeating game a little bit like i went to the shop and i bought so maybe you could play it with your brothers and sisters or your grown-ups and see how far you can get before somebody forgets what they're taking to the jungle the other thing i would like you to do is pack a bag for the jungle what can you find around your house that you think would be really good to have in the jungle maybe you could draw some pictures if you can't find everything you need and label them Maybe you could make some labels for your objects anyway, your items anyway, to practice your letter formation and your phonics. I can't wait to see what you would take and I can't wait to have a fun trip to the jungle. Have fun!